Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tatiana and on this channel you will learn how to creatively own your field. And today y'all, I'm so excited about our topic. We are talking about self-education y'all and I'm super excited because I don't know if maybe I'm just on the late bus. I feel like this should be talked about more. I am kind of a late bloomer in a lot of things I do in life. So I could just be late, so forgive me. But I think this should be talked about more seriously because as the world is evolving into more people becoming creatives and entrepreneurs and influencers, I really think that it's important to talk about self-education because listen, formal education is expensive, okay? So let me give you a little backstory on why this is so important to me right now at 28 years old. Listen, I went to a four-year university. I have a Bachelor of Arts in Radio, Television, and Film. That was my major. And although I love my school and I love what I learned and I love my degree, I realized, of course, you get to this age, you graduate, and you work in these fields that you don't necessarily have the degree in obviously or that you don't necessarily love so you evolve into a new person and you learn things about yourself that you really really love and that you really want to learn and that was me about two years ago I was looking into grad schools and I was just like god I really want to go back to school and get my master's um in some type of marketing with the concentration in like graphic design or something and I really just wanted to be get serious about being a marketing coach and a branding coach and things like that and then I realized <laughs> I started following people within that niche on Instagram and Facebook and I started seeing these people thriving in these fields and they didn't have the credentials like they didn't necessarily go to school for this so as I got older I started to realize okay your degree is enough to have a starting point, but now it's time for you to really learn on, on, on your own and really use the resources that are out there to really help you become the type of person that you want to be. So today, before I get into the video, let's talk about the difference between formal education and self-education. So formal education is obviously way more expensive, okay? You have student loans and things like that. Now, granted, if you are in a field where you obviously need to go to school, so you wanna be a lawyer, you wanna be a doctor, you wanna be a nurse, you wanna be a radiologist, then you obviously need to go to school, okay? <laughs> but I'm specifically talking to the people out there who want to be full-time creatives, entrepreneurs, influencers, whatever your niche is, whatever you want to be, that's who I'm more so talking to in this video. For those who really want to learn something that they've always had a passion for and to make income and, you know, brand yourself profitable in whatever area you want to do, right? Whatever business you want to start or own. So formal education, like I said, not only is it very expensive, but it's very structured. So I do know some people who need that structure. They need the syllabus. They need, they need a teacher, you know, present there teaching them things. They need, you know, a timeline on different things that they're going to be learning by a specific time. Formal education is also in terms fixed when it comes to how the teaching is. And the income is also fixed. You pick your major based off of how much you're going to make. So you go into school and you say, hey, this is how much a marketing strategist makes at a super, you know, billion dollar company, right? And you base it off of, you base your major based off of how much money you can work for somebody else, basically being able to get a job in a specific field and how much that'll work, right? So that's formal education. While self-education is has way more freedom, first of all, you can learn on your own terms, um, which can be a pro and a con for some, because like I said, some people need structure. Um, with self-education, you have to create that structure in your life, really put in the time based off what you want to learn and add it into your schedule. Like today, I'm off today, so not only am I you know, producing content for YouTube and Instagram, I'm really going to sit down and say, hey, I need to pick up my camera for a few hours so that I can really get into the nitty gritty of photography and really, you know, perfect certain things that I'm struggling with, whether it's focusing or ISO or, you know, learning my F-stop, whatever it is. And of course, or if it's just literally just sitting down to com complete my business plan and learn how I'm going to LLC my business by the end of the year, whatever it is, you have to learn how to make time for self-education. Self-education to me is extremely real. It is experimental. You can really be able to use Use your hands and and really like like I said if I'm taking a photography course online my camera is in my hand while I'm doing it and I just think that's what's so amazing about self-education not only that you can learn in your own time but you can really get your hands in it while you're learning
learning at the same time. And self-education is obviously more affordable. Now you have some platforms that are completely free and then you do have some other platforms that are gonna charge you for you know the courses that you need to take based off of what you're learning. Another thing about self-education is income. Based off what you are doing, you almost control your income because you can really learn six different things and have six different streams of income. That's the amazing thing about self-education. You're not necessarily bound to this one major, to this one thing that you need to learn. Now, of course, structure it. Don't take you know, a finance class today, a photography class today, a branding class tomorrow. No, you wanna make sure you have seasons and times for different things, but that's the beauty of it. It's, it's on your own time. You can learn whenever you want. And your income is based off of that. And if you're doing it to really build a business, you set your price. You set your price on how much you wanna charge people, how much you wanna make in your business. So that's the beautiful thing about it. Um, with me being a brand strategist and a photographer and a minister and all the other things that I do and how I'm trying to combine those things together, I am in my field, like creatively owning my field, but I am also learning at the same time. And again, that's what I love about self-education. And the, re the reason why this is so important to me now, I've heard this quote before, but this year, for some reason, it really stick to me. And the quote is by Jim Royne, and it says, "Self, it says formal education will make you a living, but self education will make you a fortune." And the reason why I think that's so, like, that's so good because remember, like, what I just said about college, you go there based off of a fix, fixed income and what your salary is going to be when you graduate. While self education just gives you this limitless, limitless possibility of how much money you can make based off of what you learn and what type of business you want to open or what type of person you want to be whether it's passive income or res or whether it's an actual business you want to start doesn't matter like you could literally do self-education on taxes like because we ain't learned that in school we didn't learn credit taxes balancing the checkbook starting at llc um what else how to buy a house how to save money how to invest we didn't learn any of those things in school that all of that is based off of you becoming a person what type of adult you're going to be what type of things you want to do in your life and then you realize these things get very very important so no i'm not going to go back to school for finance i'm going to look into every self-education platform possible so that i can really be like this amazing person. And even if it isn't for you to go and teach somebody or really start a business in, again, like I said, there's so many limit possibilities to self-education that can cause you to gain more income or just more insight on life and on different things that we didn't necessarily learn when we were in you know, grade school or in college even. And that's another thing about college and I'm definitely not down in college at all, okay? Get your education. But I just found like my first two years of college was honestly like honorary high school. It was like glorified high school for real. And you know, if you are terrible at standardized testing like I am, then you know your first year, you're probably in like this basic algebra class or this basic English class and that you just did when you were in 12th grade, even though you were doing calculus. Right, you're senior year of high school and now you're like back to basic math just because you sucked on this one test. Anyway, things like that. It's like, you can like save the time and just go straight into whatever it is you wanna learn. And it's like, I learned so much stuff in grade school that I'm not using now. Like how many of you are really using the different math terms that we learned in school? Like, let's be real, unless you're an architect, unless you're an engineer and you need to use those different types of formulas, nine times out of 10, you're not even using half of the things that we learned in grade school. So it's important to really have self-education right next to you, like always, it's at your reach. It's convenient it's based off of your time and how much you want to learn a few platforms that i have discovered and i wanted to share with you guys number one is skillshare a lot of people talk about skill skillshare all the time and I, that's one of the ones i'm diving into for photography i know a lot of people heard of skillshare um one other one that i have really discovered recently discovered was udemy um also coursera and of course, YouTube, YouTube is 100% free and you can learn as much possible um, here on YouTube. And then there's something new called Google for Creators. So I know a lot of people are dab dabbling into that when it comes to their content, whether they have a podcast or whatever. But um, Google for Creators is also going into the avenue of like teaching people certain things. Um, so that's important too. So 
If there's any other platform that you guys use for self-education, put it in the comments. I want to know if I'm missing out on something. Um, definitely, if, if you are here and you are struggling with the idea of figuring out how you can build your business while you're also learning. Listen, everybody is doing it. Everybody is starting from the bottom, okay? And then eventually they're going to, you know, grow higher based off of the commitment and the time that they put into their business. And that's the thing, self-education, you gotta be about your business, okay? One thing I told myself this year, this was my theme for 2021. You have to give yourself more, okay? In 2021, I'm gonna give myself more. Here's why that was my theme because I created and I did a lot for so many other people. And by the time I gave out all the plates and all the pieces of the pie to other people, I came back with crumbs. So in 2021, I wanted to flip this thing around. You get the full pie, everybody else gets the crumbs, okay? And I'm not in no way, shape or form, I'm just going to give crumbs out to my clients, but you understand what I'm saying. You gotta be able to give yourself more so that you're able to give others more as well. It's like, you can't, everybody knows the, the saying you can't pour from an empty cup if you're not full of you're not full of learning and education if you're not full of knowledge and how are you going to teach somebody else or how are you really going to be effective in your own business if you haven't sat down and took the time to really hone and own your field like you know to really take yourself serious let me tell you something you are worth making time for okay your business is worth making time for period okay okay i don't go to work from nine to five, sometimes 7.30 to five to come home and give myself nothing. Like, no, when I come home, I wanna give myself more. And that's been my topic and that's been my theme all year. Like Tatiana, if you wanna be successful in business, if you wanna be amazing, if you wanna start, to, you know, really touching people, if you have a passion for, you know, ministry and business and branding and helping people really, really creatively on your field, then you gotta creatively own your field too, okay? okay? Like that's what I told myself, like you gotta be about it for you before you can help somebody be about it for them, okay? So that is what I'm pretty much doing. I'm diving into different avenues and making sure that I'm learning as much as possible so that I can like own the field out here and I can really be this amazing like minister, photographer, brand strategist. I mean, I want to come on here and, and produce amazing, consistent content. Same on Instagram. Like I really just, I want to do some amazing things, but it takes really investing in yourself. In both formal education and self-education is both an investment, but just like the quote says, self-education will make you a fortune. And now everything is about money, but listen, let me tell you, I'd rather not be in debt and have an amazing income versus me being in debt from going to formal education and then coming out and still not making as much as I really need to, to really pay off what I need to pay off. It's like self-education is a no-brainer. Doesn't matter what age you are, what area of life you're in, I don't care if you are in third grade, teach your child something, okay? If you're in high school, if you're in college, doesn't matter. If you are in that formal education field of things, okay, focus on your studies. Like I said, education is important, so get your paper, okay? But at the same time, make sure that you are really taking time for you for the things that school would not necessarily teach you. So again, make sure you comment down below and tell me if there's any other platform that you use for self-education. I wanna know if there's any others out there that I did not mention. Let me know how you like it. Um, and also if there is anything that you're doing, whether it's in quarter four of this year or the beginning of 2022, because it's right around the corner, please in the comments, let me know what's going on. Let me know what you want to start learning and want to start owning so that you can be an amazing creator, influencer, entrepreneur, whatever it is, whatever your field is, I want you to own it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.